An important part of dependency management is of course the ability to store packages somewhere so that you or other people can install them. Now let's talk about Python package repositories. Python packages are collected in so-called software repositories. The biggest or official software repository in Python is called PyPI. It's also sometimes called the cheese shop because Python developers just love their Monty Python references. Developers can register for a free PyPI account and then submit new packages to the repository. And once a package appears in PyPI, everyone else can install it through pip. So this is a really popular method to distribute open source Python packages. And there are literally tens of thousands of packages available for free that you can just install through pip. And by the way, there's no review or QA process for packages submitted to PyPI. So whenever you install a package from PyPI, it makes sense to invest some time into due diligence work and reviewing what's available so that you get a quality piece of software. Let's search for some packages on PyPI. We're gonna take a look at the PyPI website now, and you can find it at pypi.python.org. Let's fire up a browser and then take a look at the PyPI website. All right, this is PyPI. You can see some stats here. So right now there are close to 100,000 packages available here on PyPI. And when you scroll down, you can see sort of a update log of recently updated packages. As people push them to the package repository, you can see here what was updated. And of course, one of the most important parts of the site here is the search box. So into the search box, you can enter keywords and basically do a full text search on the descriptions and the metadata for the packages available on PyPI. So you've probably heard of the really popular requests package, which is a HTTP download library. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for requests here. Okay, so these are the search results for requests. And what's interesting here is that the actual requests library that I was looking for is not the number one search result, right? Because this is just doing a search across all of the descriptions and the metadata in all of the available packages. So I get some very exhaustive results here. And you can see here as I scroll down, this is a really long list because obviously the keyword requests seems to be quite popular. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the requests library here because every package in PyPI actually has its own landing page. So it has its own page on PyPI where the developers can host the readme and um, give some links to the documentation, a release history and stuff like that. So what you can see here is that right now I'm looking at the specific version of requests and you can also see that reflected here in the URL. So this will be at PyPI slash name of the library slash the version. So this is handy if you ever want to link to a specific library or a specific version of a library because you can just use that link. This is the readme file or the description that the creators of the requests library have put together. So the contents of this description here will largely depend on the information that the library creators put in. Sometimes the formatting as it's displayed on the PyPI website isn't perfect. So you're gonna get these super blown up images here. Just ignore that for now. Actually, what I wanted to show you is when you scroll all the way down, when you scroll all the way down here, there will always be the summary with metadata about the package that you're looking at. And this is often very useful if you wanna find the homepage for a specific project or if you wanna identify its author, or if you're interested in the license that the code is under. Then also you can see the categories the code is filed under or the library was filed under. And then also what other dependencies or secondary dependencies that library requires. To me, the most useful information is usually these top three items here. I wanna know about the library author. Um, I usually take a look at the library homepage and then I also wanna know what license the software is under. And of course, you could also click through these categories here and maybe find some interesting packages that way. Okay, that's it for PyPI. You can also search for packages from the command line using the pip search command. Usually I would recommend that you stick with the PyPI website though. 
the pip command doesn't really give you very much information about those search results. So it's just the package name and then a very brief description, which can be useful. But as you've seen in the PyPI demo, Oftentimes, a single keyword can lead to many, many search results. So it's a little bit hard to untangle that from the command line if you only have limited information available. Nevertheless, that feature exists and it can be useful in a pinch.